Oh, okay. Ooh, th what's that craziness? Oh, what the heck? What the heck? That's not finished. That's not finished. Don't do it. What it do, my friends? This is Great White making it happen again today with another Mount White build update. Is everybody super excited about it? Have you guys, did you guys see the sneaky sneak preview on on YouTube? I made a, a community post thing where it's like a picture that I shared. You guys might know what's coming. Also, we did some other things that are crazy different over what we had before. I'm pretty excited to show you guys what we got going on. Why don't we jump right into it? First off, let's let's take a little stroll. You know, let's just do a little walk. Also, do you guys notice this thing? Check it out. Do you see this this cursor thing? Check it out. Let's. Show, I want to show you this really quick. This is a cursor thing they have. There's this uh, this thing you can use in this game now. Controls, customize controls. I switched it to the letter Z. It's down here. Up here. It's up here, right at the very top. Quick mine, creative mode. You can set it to a uh, key, and it'll break the block you're on. So, like, for example, if I'm right here and I want to be able to place blocks, but I'm like, ah, oh, crap, that block's not supposed to be there. I'm, I'm still have a block selected, but I can quick see. It's kind of like in Minecraft where you can right click things. But I, I switched it to Z because I have left and right click uh, are being used for other things. So, you know, it, it's a pretty neat thing, but it does have this weird cursor like reticle thing, which is very strange. I don't care for it too much, but uh, even if we F1 it, it's still there. Portal lights, please fix this. Please fix this, portal lights. When you F1, this should disappear too. I please, please, screenshots will look so much better. Everybody, if you ever see a screenshot in portal lights, it always has this on it. There are ways to, to trick the game into not having it. Like if you if you equip a bomb, the the blue part goes away, and then if I unbind that key, the orange thing will go away too. But you know, we're just gonna live with it. We're just gonna live with it. It's fine. It's fine. Now let me show you guys the new things that we worked on. Are you ready for it? So that you guys are used to this. You've seen this before. We come over here and we're stuck. Something looks a little bit different over there. Let's well, let's make our way around. Let's find a different way up there because clearly that path is not open and available for us to take. Oh, okay. Ooh, th what's that craziness? Oh. What the heck? What the heck? That's not finished. That's not finished. Don't judge me, guys. I, you know what? Everything's a work in progress here. That's going to be filled in. It's going to be a big old block of a wall. You won't be able this. In fact, everything over here is going to be very different. This isn't quite done, but you know what is kind of done, but not really. It's all a work in progress. Everything's still being worked on. Oh, guys, look at this. Check it out. You guys seeing this? You looking at it? Would you look at it? Just look at it. Guys, look how big this, do you know, do you see how big this door is? Do you guys know? Do you know how big this door is right now? Look at this, look at our character. These steps are four tall. In fact, they're not quite tall enough, I don't think. I think these steps should be uh, at least eight tall, maybe. Maybe, something like that. They're not quite tall enough, I would say. But we, you know, we'll get there, we'll fix it. And then if we look up here, look at this door. Look how massive this door is. It's huge. It's huge. It's like it's like 60 blocks tall or some crazy stuff. I don't even know, like 40, 50 something. It's a it's super tall. So let's take a look at the door, guys. Let's talk about this. So you you know what? You should probably know what you're looking at first. You should know what you're looking at first. Let's talk about that too. So this is there's some lore here. All right, let's look over here too because you guys haven't seen this in a while. So check this out. This is our big old dragon skull. So I've been working on this thing too. This is pretty neat. Um, this is our dragon skull you guys saw before it has big white eyebrows for some reason We're gonna fix those eventually too and it got stabbed through the head. It's got a big old stabby thing through the head We're still working on the volcano volcano taking a long time. I'm working on it. I'm sorry guys. I'm working on it There's so much stuff to do so much so much little time so much to do words and stuff here. We are it's coming along So this thing got stabbed and you'll notice look at this sword. Do you see this sword? It's a pretty cool looking sword, right? Pretty neat. It's like cut. It's like broken. Stabbed the, the, the dragon and it died there, right? The dragon skull turned out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. But if you guys notice, look at that. And you see over here? Yes, that's right. So let's talk a little bit about the lore and where this all came from. So this is the Giant King's something temple, you could call it, or like cathedral. It's like, it's, I'm going to go for like a cathedral look on the inside. We'll kind of get to it. But this is like the, the home of the giant king. He's the king of giants. That's who he is. Now, 
we've been working on the lore here a little bit. We're not exactly sure what it's going to be yet, but let me give you guys the gist of it. This dragon was terrorizing something and someone, and this giant, for some motivational reason, decided to destroy and kill this dragon. And it was a battle, an epic battle of epic proportions. The most unbelievable epic battle you've ever seen in your whole entire life. It would make all the movies you've seen with epic battles look like super lame, super lame things. Yeah, double super lame. That's how super lame they would be. And that's how crazy it was. And the Giant King was almost defeated in a last-ditch effort. He tore the decorative sword off of the door to his, to his... Whatever it is. His throne room, we'll call it. Yes, this is the door to the throne room of the Giant King. He tore the decorative sword off of the wall door. And he stabbed the, the dragon through the skull with it. And that's how he defeated. Now... The, so the Giant King, after defeating the dragon, he was very tired. So tired that he stumbled back. He, he stumbled up his stairs. He stumbled into the door. It kind of closed a little bit behind him. And then he took a seat in his giant throne. Boom. He took a seat in his giant throne. The Giant King rested. The Giant King rested, and in his rest, and the completion of his goal, of his, of his, of his quest, turned to stone. To marble, in fact. He turned to marble, the Giant King did. He, he rested his head against his, his fist, and leaned to the side, and he said, It is done. Except in a more epic voice, because I can't do epic voice. It is done. Maybe is that better? I don't know if that was better. But, you know, imagine an epic voice, all right? Imagine an epic voice said, it is done. And he rested and turned to stone through some crazy magic thing. You know, that's pretty much how it went. That's how it goes. So this is the Giant King. Everybody say hello to the Giant King. Giant King, hello. We, the, this is his throne room. And everything is a work in progress, as you can see. So uh, let's look at some detailing stuff. I want to talk to you guys about this. Pretty cool, right? I'm pretty excited. I tell you guys, this dragon... And then this Giant King, very different, very different build styles for me. I don't do stuff like this normally. The, the, the organic shapes, not something I'm, I'm very familiar with. Not something I'm very good at, I would say. But I'm, I'm, this is my first attempt, my first real attempt at doing stuff like this. And I think I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. I think it's pretty cool. If I had to say, if it was, you know, is good or bad, I'd say it's just pretty, I'd say it's pretty good for a first attempt. Um, I'm happy with it. It was difficult. It was very different from what I'm used to, but I think, I think it's good. There are some parts that are definitely need a little work, like his buttocks. His buttocks is a little bit weird, but the legs turned out great, arms turned out great, head, actually the torso I think looks good, his back and his butt look a little bit weird. I think that's what needs the most work, but it's, it's coming along. The dragon head is pretty cool. Now, so let's talk a little bit more about like how we're gonna how we're gonna progress from here. What's gonna happen is this was you know this isn't the whole entire kingdom of the the giant king. Perhaps he did have a kingdom of sorts, but this is a little bit more ancient than say this city over here. This city came along far after the giant king did. This city is relatively new compared to this giant king. He's been here for longer than anyone knows, and his walls, his towers will be absolutely destroyed. This is gonna be another opportunity for us to do a jump puzzle. And I'm pretty excited about how this is gonna work out, guys. So I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna get some lava going because we have the volcano over here. This is where the volcano city for the barbarians is gonna be. And we're gonna start introducing lava a little bit along the way here until we hit the big old lava pit in the in the um, the volcano. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy these walls and these towers. This wall here, this wall here, these two towers. We're going to destroy them. Just tear them down. And the debris, we're going to try and scatter all over the place, including down here. So eventually when you come through here, you're going to be able to kind of scale these walls. This might be kind of torn down so that it's easier to get through it. And then you're going to come down here eventually. And from here, you can't actually, when you are playing this correctly, you won't have double jump. You won't have wings. You won't be able to get up there. That's too tall. I have double jump. Even with double jump, you can't get up. Um... But you shouldn't have it anyway. So what's going to happen is the debris that's been destroyed in, in this battle, this epic battle between the dragon and the giant king, the, the walls were destroyed, the towers were, were decimated, reduced by tenths, that's right, decimated, and all that crazy stuff. And 
so the debris from those is going to be all over the place and you're going to use the debris as your way of kind of navigating and scaling these walls up to here to be able to get into this throne room and i think this throne room may be where we hide one of our secret chests there's going to be secret chests throughout this whole entire build that you guys are going to have to be able to find or you'll be able to find as kind of a goal of the exploring the the build um it'll be pretty cool but yeah, we're gonna have that destroyed and it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna, and we're gonna tear one of these towers down a little bit and make it easier to see the dragon skull from down here. And so it's not, because if you look this tower, if it's complete like that, it does kind of hinder, or it kind of uh, interferes with the, the space that the, the dragon head is taking up. So we're probably gonna take a big old gash out of this tower and um, make it easier to see. The interior of this is gonna be pretty difficult, I think. I'm I'm a little bit, I won't, I'm, I don't want to say I'm worried about it. It's going to be fine. We're probably, we're going to do, check this out. What I did is I took this, I'm just kind of talking about how we're going to move forward with the interior, this, this building, this, this throne room for the dragon or the uh, giant king. We're, this shape I did. The shape of the top of the door is where I started. So I have this, uh, this interesting, like cascading, like shape. Um, I started by doing like, it was just like seven wide. And then I did one, one, two, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five diagonals, two down, and then all the way down. So that shape, I, I copied that. I used that for the shape of the shares, shares, the shape of the stairs here. I used it for the shape of the stairs inside. <gasps> Wait for me 20 minutes while I fly in here. That's the shape of these stairs inside here. And that's the shape of these curves on the edge. If we kind of zoom out, the curves of those edges are the same shape. So that's just kind of our recurring shape. That's also the shape of the top of the throne. Well, it's not the exact same, but I tried to copy it relatively closely. Um, yeah, so I tried to kind of copy that. We're going to build this up, and I want to go for cathedral feel. What I think we're going to do is, like, I'm going to have these turn into pillars. And we're going to kind of connect them in a similar shape. And then in between each of these pillars, I'm going to try and go for giant stained glass window type things. They're not actually going to be windows. You won't be able to see through them, but we're going to kind of go for a stained glass type feel. Um, I think that'll make this kind of cool. And like this, maybe, maybe the, the giant King, he's just known as the giant King. Maybe he doesn't have a kingdom per se, or at least, you know, part of his lore didn't, he didn't have a kingdom. Maybe, maybe long, long, long ago he did, but only long, long ago, he was just a lonely giant King and he would come here and people would grant wishes or he would grant wishes to people or something. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Or maybe he would, uh, dip, you know, impart wisdom to weary travelers about, you know, how to fulfill their lives or I don't know, something crazy, or he would provide assistance like maybe he looked over a city and was like their elder sort of or you know like a you know like uh in pocahontas the grandma is the tree face he's like the tree face for these city people or something maybe or these barbarian people or whoever lived there before them you know the lore did i just make a pocahontas reference heck yes i did get over it but the lore is still up in the air we're still undecided on the lore we'll figure it out whatever it's fine we'll get there eventually um it's not too important right now. We're still going to just make it look super cool. Um, we've done some pretty cool things with the door. Um, there's still some decoration-y stuff to be done. You, you guys see we did the hinges, and I kind of took a chunk out of the, the walls here for the hinges where they go when it opens. I, I think that turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. On the inside here, I'm going to do a similar sword thing on the inside as a latch. So a sword latch where, where the door would normally lock if he was trying to lock the door for whatever reason. These are just there to mark how long, long as each of those is 10. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, like six blocks tall, something like that. Um, anyway, the uh, the inside here. So the, the throne. I started off building the throne. Once I had the throne completed, I built the, the giant king inside of it. And I eyeballed it. I straight up eyeballed it. That's 100% what I did. I did not know what I was doing the whole time. I really just kind of winged it. And it turned out okay. I started with this foot. I thought it turned out okay. And then I moved over to this foot. I tried to make them not symmetrical. I didn't want him to look like he was a symmetrical being. I wanted him to have some shape and some character and some story behind him. So I did my best to make them look similar but different. You know, like I don't want this foot to look like grotesque and like weird and, and different. I just want it to be in a different position. And using voxels, I think we did an okay job at that. I think it turned out all right. It's got a decent shape from, from both profiles. When you get certain angles, it can look a little bit weird, but gosh darn it, I did my best. 
and I'm proud of what I did. I'm feeling pretty proud, guys. Um, the hands were pretty easy. It got a little bit difficult at some points because it was this arm was looking super beefy, and this arm was not, and I had to kind of even things out. The torso came together pretty well, I think, actually. I just kind of tried to get a rough idea. I tried to get the skeleton put together first and then kind of built out from there, and it worked out pretty well. We went through a few iterations on the face, too, but eventually we ended up just doing this. Here's a fun thing we did. You guys can be a part of this. This is a fun thing. Check this out. You guys are going to love this. We did this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> guys, this is like one of my favorite things. I love taking my builds and making them look super goofy. It's like one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> you can't take yourself too seriously, guys. It's a blast to just kind of screw around with your stuff. I will kind of leave him like that, though. I think that's how he's going to look when we're done. But the other thing I didn't think about is lighting is going to be kind of tricky for this build once we get to the end. And um, we're kind of closing everything in. It's going to be very dark in here. I didn't think about that. Oh, we gave him a crown. We made the crown out of this uh, uh, refined uh, runestone. Or the studded runestone, rather. Um, I tried to kind of do some similarities here between the crown jewel and the jewels on the swords and then in the middle of these jewels on the chair on the throne I did in the middle up there at least I did the red and then we have the golden purple it's sort of a you know so if somebody in stream suggested their their royal colors so that would be an appropriate color for a king's throne and um I did the obsidian for the the seat of the chair, as I, I thought it fit well with everything. Um, I think we've got a pretty good palette going. I think the palette looks good. The colors blend well. Um, somebody suggested there's maybe not enough contrast and the colors are too close and similar. I kind of would agree a little bit, but I think it melts together pretty well. I don't think uh, nothing sticks out, but I think it. I think it's just a good. A good, a good palette. I'm gonna repeat myself because I agree with what I said the first time. It's, I think it's a good palette. Yeah, yeah, pretty neat. But outside of that, ah, we got a lot of work to do, guys. We got a lot of work to do finishing up the interior there. That's gonna be just a time-consuming thing. I know what I want to do, and it's gonna be cool. Um, yeah, that'll come with time. Out here, this is gonna be tricky doing the dis destroying the walls. That's gonna be a difficult thing to do. I think it looks pretty cool though. I like that look. Once it gets destroyed, it's going to lose some of that epic feel, but hopefully it'll tell more, more of a story, which is what I'm more interested in. We could build epic things, but I want to, I want you to be curious. I want you to want to explore it. So that's, that's the goal there. So I think destroying it's going to help a lot and it'll be a cool little puzzle to have all the debris to climb there. And then we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get you over here and up to the, um, the volcano. And then of course the volcano is going to be the next step. And after that, guys, look how epic that is. Look how huge that giant king is. Oh man, that is big. If you guys saw the last update, we had a big old door there and it was pretty big. And in stream, we all agreed the door is not big enough for a giant. So we made it like 10 times bigger. That's like actually like four or five times bigger than it was. So it actually is very, very large. Um, over here though, I think after this, I think we're gonna try and implement some kind of an underwater area. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. It's gonna be very tricky for sure. Absolutely going to be incredibly tricky to actually implement. But I believe in us. I believe we can do it. We might have to cut a chunk out of the mountain or something like that. But I think it'll be super cool. I don't know. I, if you guys have ideas for things we should add to the mountain build, make sure you get in the comments and give me a suggestion. I'm, I'm always I'm open to suggestions. I have plans for things I want to do, but nothing is set in stone except for the Giant King. So if you guys have ideas, definitely let me know. I, I would love to hear you out. Um, let me know if you have any, you know, just let me know what you're thinking. If you're liking it, if you're digging it, you know, if you're writing a little comment, say, oh, great way. You're doing a great job. Go keep it up. Or something like that. Whatever you want to do. If you want to sit great while you're a big dumb dummy. This looks so stupid. But don't be like that. But if you guys have criticisms, you think we should fix things, definitely let me know. Just try not to be rude about it. But other than that, make sure you hit a like if you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, we're over 1,500 subscribers. Do you know how many subscribers that is? 
It's over 1,500! That's so many! That's so crazy! That's like, I can't even imagine how many people that is. I can't even, I can't, I'm trying right now to imagine 1,500 people in a room. I can't even, I can't even do it. I can't even do it! It's not even possible! But guys, I appreciate you staying, hanging out, looking at the build, chit-chatting, talking, enjoying it. Make sure you, oh yeah, we, I just almost did the outro again. Well, thank you guys again. You've been a pleasure as always, and I hope you do have just the best kind of day. See you later, dudes! It is dark.